She looks like before. Wait on the after. Okay, so Celise just recorded me braiding it down. This is her braiding pattern on the wig, as you can see. So I do a braid around the perimeter so that she can have something to latch the wig onto, and then in the middle she's braid down. But I do them smaller so that it won't be lumpy under the wig. No, no. I'm here. Girl, why we want recording? <laughs> hold on, oh, hold on, y'all. Yeah. We just gonna have to. <laughs> so we weren't recording what we just did. So I you press the cord. This is your fault. No, you picked up the camera. You you was showing my braids. Cause, Cause you handed me the camera. I thought you had you handed the camera to me. It wasn't even on. I didn't turn the camera on. I didn't press on. You handed it to me on, and I, we not finna argue about leading fault. <laughs> so I just want you guys to see. So what we've done, we put this plastic cap on, and we put this wig cap on top of it. And what that's gonna do is keep the glue from getting on Selena's real hair. So we'll come back with the finished product. Okay, so we revamped what we were doing because Selena. This glue was old, okay? That's really what it was. Don't use old glue, y'all. Marcia knows. Yes, not when I had that blonde see. hair on our last video, all them tricks slipped away. <laughs> so, what she's doing now, she's laying it with the glue gun and she's laying it like a quick wig. And so, if you look closely, when she's gonna take this up and kind of curve it to give that invisible hairline. This blue that you see is a marker. Cause if you leave too much, we, we cut our wig cap. Cause if you leave too much, then it'll make your wig too loose. And we want it to look like it grew out of our head. And so now you see the technique where she's kind of curving it up on the blue line. It's and that's my broke nail. And that's gonna help create that invisible hairline. So when the wind blow, boom. Boom, okay. So we finished the unit. You know, I've been saying wig all the time, but unit sound a little more fancy. 28, 28, 24, 22, 26, 27, 28, 24, 22. Yeah, so you wanna see? This is what we've ended up with. This is how we closed it. Yes, so now we're about to put it on this. She's so fancy. She's so fancy. I got my new flat iron guy. Mm -hmm. So it's warming up. It shows it. Okay, I'm going to get this together. I'm going to get it right here. Ooh, it's on the river. Mm -hmm. That's an 80 miles. It's done. Right? I think so. Nice. These are some cheese. She got them from Cosmo Frog. Mm -hmm. Have to be licensed Cosmo Frog to get those guys. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we are now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to get it quick. Okay, but before, and these are the cheese flat irons, the cheese G2. And it just, is that first time using it? So we're gonna see what it can do. Yeah. So before, before we flat iron though, we want you guys to see if Lita will come on. Can you sit on the floor? I want you guys to see the install. So we made it we before we put it on, so you guys can see is like perfect to her part all the way around and you need it to be perfect all the way around because if the hair if the wig comes up too far when you flat out your hair over it's going to stick up some and if it's not up far enough you're going to be able to see a track even though you're laying your hair down so you got to get that perfect part you guys okay and then wait and then this is how the hair looks it's four bundles and I didn't stick because I thought this is Malaysian hair. I ain't never had no Malaysian. Marcia got Malaysian hair in too, and she said it's kind of thin, so. Yeah, I, I prefer Brazilian, but. Yeah, and I like Peruvian, so. We gonna roll with it. All right, you guys. So here is the finished result. And the bobbin's up. 
Woohoo! Look at it. And see, it's blended really nicely in the top there. Alright. So, we're just going to take one last picture, you know. Don't touch this side. Hang on. Be right. Oh. Well, going to take one last picture with her hair curled and makeup done tomorrow. So, yeah. yeah. Put the car on it. Y'all be talking now. Hey, we talked to the car. Say the world, hey. Uh huh. Yeah, Juju on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> it's been real. Now slide, drop. Hit the phone the side. Well, I don't know that dance. So. <laughs> so I don't even know if this is gonna what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a vlog, but bye. Oh, you can't see me. Okay, wait. Bye. Alright guys, so this is my finished hair look. I'm sending this music off. Like it's copyrighted. Come in the bathroom. So you guys, this is my finished hair look. I one curled it with my Con Air. No, this is not Con Air. With my Remington curling wand. I bought this at Target a long, long, long time ago. Okay. Um, I don't I think it was $20. And this is what I wand curled it with. It gets really hot. It goes up to 30 on the temperature scale. You can see it goes up to 30. Do like this, because this would be better a better view so this is it so like i said um it's malaysian hair i have four bundles 28 26 24 and 22 this is what this is what it looks like it blends with my hair pretty well hopefully i'm getting the back <laughs> yeah guys that is it i do like the hair but i feel like these bundles are kind of thin i don't know if it's just malaysian hair um all together but i do feel like the bundles are kind of thin it does look thicker um once it's curled but i think i'm going to contact the vendor on aliexpress and get one more bundle in case i want to wear it straight you know it'll be more full so yeah but that is it i like it